investment literacy is a really important thing for an entrepreneur to know. So we we talk to our startups about, you know, when you're approaching an investor, you got to know the terms that they're going to be using and the concepts and and really what they're looking for. So the first thing is understanding, you know, what returns to the investment. First, you got to know how much you want to ask and what you're going to use the money for. Um, but secondly, you want to know what the returns are you're going to be giving back to them and how they're going to be able to exit. So exit is an important concept, which is, okay, I've, I've, I've invested, you know, $100,000 in your startup. When am I going to be able to take my money out? And how am I going to take it out? And on what terms? So are you going to, you know, so if the companies have to, you know, sort of liquidate or go out of business, you know, then your investor wants to get their money out first before you. So that's what's called preference rights. So you you give those kind of rights to your investor. Or things are going really well, you know, hallelujah. Then in that case, when you sell the company, then again, how does the investor get their money first? And then you get yours. On what terms would you, you know, like do you do it on the same valuation? Is the, is the company, when it's worth more, you know, what kind of um, terms do you give to your investor? So all of these things are spelled out in something called a term sheet. And when you're a startup um, and you're new to all this, a term sheet is kind of an overwhelming document because it's basically laying out how an investor is going to come and own part of your company and, you know, get all sorts of rights that you didn't know you had to give them. For example, if they, if somebody wants to buy the company um, or if they find buyer for their, for their share, they might say, I'm going to drag you along. You, you have to sell too. And that's a right that you might have to give away. So there are all sorts of things that when people don't know what they're getting into, they obviously, they, they don't negotiate very well and they don't, and they get also overwhelmed uh, and they don't want to even sign because they're so overwhelmed. So what we try to do is help people understand that, yeah, your investor is a partner. Uh, you're going to be you're reporting to them quarterly. You're going to have, you know, to produce financial reports that are according to a certain format. Uh, but at the same time, you know, they're also excited about you. They're they're in this because they love you. They love your idea. They love your energy. So it's not like, you know, you're adversaries. You're not enemies with your investor. you got to Think of them as people that are going to make your dream come true, but you got to also know how to speak the same language and protect yourself. And when things go bad, you know, make sure that everybody knows what's going to happen. So that's what we do now is make sure that people are entering into a negotiation from a place of power because knowledge is, is power, right? So if you understand before you go into the negotiation what the terms mean, you're already way ahead. And that's important. 